Today, we will be discussing the qualitative tests for proteins and their expected results. Before we discuss the specific tests for proteins, let us first learn the basics. Proteins are macromolecules that make up living organisms. But like carbohydrates, they are made up of smaller building blocks known as amino acids. Here you can see the general structural formula of an amino acid. So amino acid is an organic compound that contains both an amino group and a carboxyl group. More than 700 different naturally occurring amino acids are known, but only 20 of them, which we call standard amino acids, are normally present in proteins found in humans. These are the 20 standard alpha amino acids. These 20 amino acids can be divided into two groups, essential and non-essential amino acids. Non-essential amino acids are amino acids which the human body is capable of synthesizing. These are alanine, arginine, asparagine, aspartic acid, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, proline, serine, and tyrosine. Some of these amino acids can be termed as conditionally essential, which means that they may be needed from the diet during illness or as a result of health problems. This subcategory includes arginine, cysteine, glycine, tyrosine, proline, and glutamine. Essential amino acids are those amino acids that must be obtained from the diet. The essential amino acids are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Amino acids can't be stored by the body in the same manner as fat and starch, so it's important that we obtain those that we cannot synthesize from our diet. Failure to acquire these amino acids can lead to an inhibition of protein synthesis in the body. Because the proteins formed by amino acids can be incredibly large molecules, it would be very time-consuming and difficult to draw out the chemical structure of them in the same way we do for smaller molecules. So for amino acids, we can use letters to represent them. We can either use a three-letter representation or a one-letter representation. The origin of the one-letter code was due to the requirement back when computers were older and clunkier, so to reduce the size of files being used to describe the sequences of amino acids making up proteins. One-letter codes were developed by Dr. Margaret Oakley Dayhoff. Proteins Proteins are large biological molecules composed of alpha amino acids. They can be obtained from meats, poultry, fish, meat substitutes, cheese, milk, etc. Depending on the number of amino acid molecules involved in the condensation reaction, the products formed are classified as dipeptide, tripeptide, polypeptide. So when we say dipeptide, these are the products formed by the condensation of two alpha amino acid molecules. Let us now take a look into the general reactions of proteins. Bayerets test. It is a chemical test used for the detecting of the presence of peptide bonds. If the color changes from blue to violet, it means proteins are present. If the color changes from blue to pink, then that means that peptides are present. When treated with copper sulfate in the presence of a base, for example, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, the nitrogen in the peptide bonds of peptides and proteins react with copper two ions to form a violet-colored complex called bioret. The minimum requirement for a positive test for the bioret's test is two peptide bonds in the molecule. Our next test is the ninhydrin test. It is a chemical test used to detect ammonia or primary and secondary amines. It tests for the presence of free amino acids in protein. The alpha amino acids typically give an intense blue or purple colored complex. 
a deep blue or purple known as Ruhemann's purple is produced. This test is sensitive enough that mean hydrine can be used for the visualization of fingerprints. Mean hydrine reacts with alpha amino groups of proteins and free amino acids based on this reaction. Mean hydrine is reduced to hydrine dantin during reaction with the alpha amino group. The amino acid in turn is converted into an aldehyde, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. Hydrine dantin and ammonia interact with another molecule of mean hydrine to form a purple colored product indicating a positive result. For our next test, we have the Santhoprotic test. It is an identification test used to distinguish between amino acids with a phenyl ring, a phenyl group, or an indole group from other amino acids. This is a test for the presence of tyrosine and tryptophan. When protein is treated with hot concentrated nitric acid, a yellow colored substance is formed. In the presence of concentrated nitric acid and high temperature, the benzene ring system in tyrosine and tryptophan undergo nitration. The nitrated derivatives are yellow in color. When made alkaline, the shade of the color turns to orange. This is an indication of positive test. Santhoprotein is a yellow acid substance formed by the action of hot nitric acid on albuminous or protein matter and is changed to a deep orange-yellow color by the addition of ammonia. Here are the sample positive results for the Santoprotic test. Millen's test. This test is specific for tyrosine, the only amino acid containing a phenol group, a hydroxyl group attached to the benzene ring. All phenols give a positive result in Millen's test. So this test is actually not specific for proteins and so must be confirmed by other tests for proteins such as the Bayeret test and the ninhydrin reaction. This is a test used to detect for the presence of soluble proteins, which may give a reddish-brown colored solution or formation of precipitate that indicates the presence of tyrosine residue. In Millen's test, the phenyl group of tyrosine is first nitrated by nitric acid in the test solution. Then, the nitrated tyrosine complexes mercury ions in the solution to form a brick-red solution or precipitate of nitrated tyrosine. In all cases, appearance of red color is a positive test. Tyrosine and proteins containing tyrosine will give a red color or precipitate. The color is due to the formation of mercury phenolate ion with a sulfonated phenol radical in tyrosine. Sakaguchi test is a specific test for the detection of amino acid containing guanidinium group. In other words, it's a test for guanidines or for amino acids the presence of arginine. Free arginine or arginyl residue in proteins react with alpha naphthol and alkali hypobromide to give a red colored complex. When a carmine red color develops, that means arginine is present. So for Sakaguchi test, in alkaline solution, arginine reacts with alpha naphthol and sodium hypobromide or chloride as an oxidizing agent to form red complexes as a positive result. Our next test is hopkins cole test also known as the glyoxylic acid reaction. This test is used for detecting the presence of tryptophan in proteins. The indole group of tryptophan reacts with glyoxylic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid to give a purple colored product. A purple ring appears between two layers. This reaction is due to the presence of indole ring of the amino acid tryptophan in the protein. Several aldehydes react with the oxidized product of the indole nucleus of tryptophan to give violet-colored complexes. Sulfuric acid with mercuric sulfate is used as oxidizing agent in this reaction. A violet color in between two layers indicate positive test.
And for our last test, we have the sulfur reaction or lead acetate test. This test is specific for sulfur-containing amino acids like cysteine or proteins containing cysteine. When a sulfur-containing amino acid like cysteine reacts with lead acetate under alkaline conditions, organic sulfur is converted to sulfide and then a formation of a brownish black, black or gray precipitate is formed, which is led to sulfide. And that's it for our discussion for today. Thank you for watching and stand by for more biochemistry discussions.